Hello everyone and welcome back to Style Tonight. In this video we will cover a very important topic as far as React JS is concerned and that topic is high order components. Yes, if you're working on a React JS project or if you're working in some company where you are working on building a production level project then these design patterns are very important design patterns like render prop pattern custom hooks and high order component with function components people are not using high order components that much but high order component is like a function which can enhance your component so if you are looking forward to writing a more scalable distributed code in your next project then high order component should be something that you should be aware of so without wasting any time let's get started so as i've already mentioned in the introduction a high order component is nothing but a function which takes a component as an argument enhances it in some way and then returns back an enhanced component so if in your project you want to have some enhancements or let's say some feature that you want to add on to each of the component or let's say several component in your project then a better approach or a better design would be to keep that enhancement or that logic in one place in form of a function supply a component to it let the function enhance that component by adding that logic that you want to add to different components and then return back an enhanced component so it would be something like you know you have a function over here you supply it a component and then it returns you an enhanced component this enhancement can be anything you can check for authentication over here maybe you know set up the logger for each component maybe do some checks let's say in terms of checking whether if there is an e-commerce website whether the products added in the cart are available or not so what we can do is we can on each page transition or each component transition we can do those checks and if at some given point of time the cart products are unavailable or they got out of stock while you were looking for other products you can display some pop-up box showing that okay these 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 products are not available right now or you know just went out of stock etc so these are just a couple of examples in which you can use such a function create such a function have some functionality inside of it and use it to sort of wrap your main component and add some features on top of it now because this is defined separately in a function so this can be used to sort of you know wrap or provide or enhance several components in your react.js project so that way is this will make your code more scalable and when you create such functions separately it will be more readable or you know more easy to manage in terms of code as well so let's take some examples and see how you can write such functions that can actually enhance your components so i'll clean this up and we'll start writing some code so what I will do is, first of all, I will start with creating a folder over here, which will be utils. So inside this particular directory, I'll be creating several files for each high order component or high order function. There can be two approaches. Either you can keep a single file inside of which you write all those functions, or you can have separate functions for each one of them. We will follow the second approach. We will have separate files for each one of them. Although there is no standard approach for what you should name your high order component, but generally it is followed or recommended that you start the name with with W I T H. For example, if you want to add a layer of authentication, you can use with authentication or with auth. Or if you want to have a common error handling setup or error reporting setup, you can have with error reporting or with error handling. Similarly, if you want to have a separate function to load some data that is prerequisite for a lot of other components, so you can have with the data loaded and you can supply the component, then the function will load the data, add the data to the component and return back enhanced components. I think you get the point. So these high order components would be like, you know, a gift wrapping machine, which will wrap whatever box you supply to it with gift wrapping. So it will have one mechanism like a gift wrapping machine has a single mechanism. It wraps every gift box with the wrapping paper. So you supply it whatever gift box, small size, big size, or whatever, you know, a different shape. Maybe it will wrap it with a wrapping paper. Similarly, in Indian context, you can take it like as a tadka for different vegetable curries or, you know, non-veg curries you have, you boil the chicken you boil the lentils you keep them separately you keep the tadka separately and whatever you have to serve in a restaurant you just add the tadka to it heat it for some time and it's ready to be served so enough with the examples let's write some high order components for our project so let's start with the most basic one with authentication so i'll show you how you can set up a function that can add on authentication to whatever component that you would want to have okay so i'll name it with auth.js inside of this i'll create a function like i said high order component is nothing but a function with auth and it will take a component as an argument and what it will return it will return a enhanced component so we will return another function from its side of it because a function component is nothing but a javascript function so either you can name it like this function and inside of this what i can do is i can return this component 
Now this is a very basic structure of how a high order component works. This is a function which is taking another component as an argument and in turn returning that component. If I have to do, I can add any enhancement or any code over here, whatever logic I want to add. I can also, so what is happening over here, like you know that function component is nothing but a JavaScript function. When I will have a component which I will be supplying to this with auth function, it will return back to me another function component. So as you know, a function component can be supplied with props. So what I can do is I can have or I can expect props over here as well. And I can do this to forward the props to the component that was supplied in the first place as the argument. So this is the most basic example of a high order component. So this with auth function will return another component as you can see over here, which can also take in props and the props are also forwarded to the component which was provided to this with auth function in the first place, right? So this makes another layer or you know, provides more functionality that okay, whenever you are calling, let's say I have some component which is taking props as well. So I have to have some way in which when the component is enhanced, then also I can supply in those props. So that's what we are doing over here, right? Now let's write some virtual logic for authentication. So let's say I am just, you know, I'll just sort of mock the authentication system is authenticate is equal to true this is something where your auth logic will come right maybe you know getting the token from the database or getting the token from the client using that sending it to the backend and verifying whether the token is right or not so that is something that you get do over here and you find out you figure out whether the user is authenticated or not and based on that what you do is you check if is authenticated is true then you return this component obviously otherwise you say please log in to access all right so this is a basic setup and this is how a basic with auth high order component would look like now in order to test this out let's just quickly create a component let's say dashboard dot js rafce so this is your dashboard let's say and uh, yeah now when i have to call this in app.js what i can do is first thing is i will be calling or i will be you know doing this let's say auth dash i can do with auth so i'll have to export it from over here export default in order to use anything outside of the module you have to export those functions so i'm exporting the with auth function and i can use it over here like this with auth and I can supply in dashboard to it. And now this auth dash is sort of, you know, available for me to use over here. So this is one way, like you can see over here, your dashboard has appeared. And if I just make it false, it will say, please log in to access, right? So that's one way you can directly in the app.js or wherever you want to call this component, you can do, or you can call this high order component like this. You can have the function and you can have the component over here, send it as an argument to with auth, wherever you want to make sure that authentication is there or authorization is there, or you want to set up a logger or you want to set up some error logging mechanism, like I said, or another way of doing this would be, let me just clean this up quickly. We'll not call it like this. Remove this imports as well. Yeah. So this is the clean app.js that I had initially in the dashboard itself. Now, if I know that a component will only be accessible to the user, if the user has authenticated or the authentication passes. So in that case, what I can do is I can directly create or call the with auth high order function over here and, you know, enhance the component here itself. So I can have auth dashboard, let's say, and I can say with auth and use this dashboard over here and from this dashboard export only the authenticated version of the dashboard because I'd never want the dashboard to be accessible without authentication. So I can do this over here only. Now in app.js, what I will do is I'll simply call my auth dashboard and I will be done. Please log into access. If I change it to true, 
your dashboard right so that's how you can implement a high order component so with auth is a function which is sort of enhancing every component that you supply to it it can be anything in case of an e-commerce it can be the pages of like your orders or your profile settings etc can be sort of supplied in as an argument to this with auth high order component and it will return an enhanced version of those components which will only be available after checking the authentication right so let's quickly create another let's take another example and i will also show you how you can use multiple you know such functions on the same component right anyways you know these are just functions returning something which can be provided as an argument to another function right so what i will do is let's just have a another function that we will create with dark mode so let's say your application that you're creating some pages have dark mode and some components might not have dark mode so i don't know what sort of application that would be but let's assume that it's an application in which some pages might have dark mode or some pages might not have dark mode so it can be like you know by default it's dark mode and when the dark mode is enabled then every component is loaded with dark mode high order component etc maybe you know depends on the implementation okay so what i will do is with the dark mode i'll just quickly create a function because a high order component starts with a function and it will take a component right as an argument and it will return me back an enhanced component which can take props because we have seen this in the previous example also and it will return back to me my component along with the props destructured right so this makes sense looks cool that was the basic implementation that we talked about in the last example as well now what i want to do is i want to have some style added on top of this component so that whenever I use this particular function, it will convert my component into a dark mode version of itself. All right. So what I'll do is I'll create some styles over here, a style object in which I'll have the background color to be this. This is a very sexy shade of black, which we use on study tonight also. And then hash E E E as the text color. What else we want to have? Uh, I think we can start with this only. The background color is dark and the text color is light. That's more than enough. So what I will return from over here is I will wrap this component inside a div. And on that div, I'll apply the class style styles. All right. Export function. And now what I will do is I will use this along with with auth. So I have two sort of, you know, wrapping functions that can now enhance my component. I can use multiple such functions to enhance my component in different ways. So what I will do is in this dashboard, I already have with auth making sure that the dashboard is opening up only when the authentication is fulfilled. Now I also want to make sure that, okay, this should be supporting the dark mode theme as well so i can just simply enclose it why didn't it got imported okay so i can simply so i can simply wrap the output of this particular function call the enhanced component that this is returning into my with dark mode high order component function and it will enhance it further with dark mode so similarly i can have a chain obviously don't overdo it and because that will make your code more confusing but yeah i think two or three levels of function calling is fine unless and until things are getting too complex or too difficult to understand for everyone in your team all right so as you can see in the output that dark mode thing got implemented but in a little weird way okay so it's not taking up the entire height okay so if i have to change this i can add height 100 vh just to you know make sure this example looks nice all right so this is fine now if i remove this particular thing with the dark mode then it is not supporting dark mode if i add this it is supporting dark mode so this is how you can write functions to enhance your components and make your code more readable now the complete implementation of authentication check is inside with auth similarly the complete implementation of converting a component's ui into dark mode is inside this whatever i want to change inside i can simply do it over here and automatically it will be implemented on each of the components which are being wrapped around by this particular function right so this is a very cool design pattern of writing code for your next react project yes there are several different design patterns like you can write custom hooks or you can create functions like these to enhance
texture component or you can use render prop pattern there's several others so you should weigh them or you should know at least all of them to understand which one makes sense in which use case i will definitely create one video where i will try to explain the differences between all these for this video this is it i hope you are able to understand what high order components are how you can write functions that can enhance your component not just one component but several components and make your code more reusable scalable readable and simply amazing so if you like this video please subscribe to the state right with abhishek channel give it a thumbs up and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post another new video more videos coming up so stay tuned keep watching keep learning thank you so much see you in the next one